Hello, welcome once again. I'm Imran Garda and you're in the stream. Today we look at US-Iran relations and how two Iranians are creating controversy through comedy. Millions of Iranians are tuning in each week to watch Parasit, a program produced by the US government's Voice of America. It's a satirical television show and it's not shy of criticizing Iranian politics and politicians. Increasing in popularity inside the Islamic Republic, it has clearly touched a chord. Others, however, are suspicious of its funders and accuse it of being pure propaganda. Let's take a look at a little clip of Parasit. Okay, well, I want their coffee machine. Well, a 30 year long standoff between the US and Iran has led to what many have been calling a regional Cold War. This geopolitical shakeup caused by the recent Arab Spring as well is only increasing those tensions as Iran and its allies face off against Saudi Arabia and the US and others. So what lies ahead for the two nations? Well, joining me to discuss this is, as always, our digital producer, Ahmed Shihabuddin. Hi, Ahmed. Hey. He'll be looking out for your live questions and comments, um, so make sure to tweet us using the hashtag AJStream. Next to Ahmed on the couch are Parasit uh, co-creators, Saman Arbabi, and Kambiz Husseini. Welcome Hello. to the program, uh, gentlemen. Uh, Hello, Al Jazeera. Hello. That's a deep voice you that's have. A, he's very very been working on that all day. Like, yeah. <laughs> Got it. Good job. Some serious <laughs> energy in that clip on, on your program. Uh, it takes that much energy to stand up against uh, a dictator, I think. Uh, it's, it's, not, it's not that easy. Um, it's a brutal dictator. Um, they killed a lot of people throughout the years. And uh, I feel like, um, and I grew up in that country um, as a kid, you know, and I, and I felt all the pressure, all the, um, all the stuff that I wanted to reach and mm. I had never been able to reach. I think uh, uh, the anger and the, the energy uh, came from that sense of my uh, heart. You know? No matter what, what the sense of frustration is and opposition to mm. Mahmoud Ahmadinejad and it's not, it's not about Mahmoud Ahmed. Okay, fine. Uh, as, as much anger yeah. uh, as there is towards the system, he who pays the piper decides the tune. You're funded by Voice of America. Mm. It's not Voice of Cameroon, not Voice of Solomon Islands. It's the United States government money that funds you. From the outset, it seems as if it's pure and simple cultural propaganda. It may be good propaganda, but it's propaganda nonetheless. Mm. Was that a question? Should I say I, why we are propaganda? Are we propaganda? Is that the you? question? As long as they, 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 they fund us, but they let us do what we do and not interfere, which they haven't. Uh, I don't care if the government of like Kenya gives us the money. We have a platform, we're using it, and luckily the charter that we have at VOA protects you as yeah, a but the, the government of Kenya has no history with Iran. <laughs> no, I know what you're saying. It was a joke, but you guys... <laughs> that was, was a funny joke. Guys. No, the point is, like, I, I, we get this question a lot, and to be honest with you, Parazit is something that's completely unique for even VOA. Hmm. Uh, VOA is this, you know, very dry, hard news kind of attitude thing funded by the government. It started during the Cold War era, and then came Parazit, and, and we kind of just use the opportunity we had to do what we do and we're very objective about everybody including the American government so but it's a very valid question that you're asking but luckily uh, we've been able to do what we want to do and as long as we're able to do what we do yeah. and there's no censorship involved and no one's going to interfere with our content then the government money is looking good we're okay and uh, I want to add something to this that you have to look at our content when you bring up the subject of propaganda uh, what is this propaganda it's our content right and uh, I would love for your audience to bring up one issue that proves that we actually pursued uh, any, any sort of propaganda. 
uh, since we started the show. Okay, let's bring in our third guest now in New York City via Skype is Iranian-American political commentator Nima Shirazi, who uh, questions Parazit's credibility. Uh, Nima, tell us why you're perhaps a little bit skeptical about the two uh, gentlemen here on our couch. Uh, well, I'm happy to be here. Um, part of what makes me uh, a bit skeptical about, about uh, the credibility of, of Parazit, um, which, which I... I I, I don't think should be characterized strictly as, as propaganda. I mean, if, if, if as, as they say, uh, you know, they are not told what to say, um, there isn't censorship in terms of what they're allowed to do on the show. I think uh, what does need to be recognized is the reason why Voice of America would choose to uh, take on this show as its own. And I think it's, it's, it's because there's a, there's a real um, intersection of uh, goals. Uh, in terms of what the U.S. government is pursuing uh, with regard to Iran, and, wi and which the show really kind of helps enforce that narrative, um, you know, in terms of being objective and 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 not having anything uh, you know imposed upon them. Um, about three weeks ago, uh, Secretary of State Hillary Clinton was interviewed by by the guys on the show, um, and uh, she's she's actually one of their their bosses. Um, she, she's on the uh, broadcasting board of governors for Voice of America, um, de facto, because she's the Secretary of State. Mm -hmm. all, all Secretaries of State okay. are it, on that board. Uh, um, interesting that you mentioned that. Let me just play a little bit of this for sort of ambience of that interview. The interview with Hillary Clinton from uh, October the 26th, 2011. Um, you know, this was a 17 minute long interview. Uh, Kambiz, you conducted the interview. Yes. Um, Tell us why this interview was, you know, uh, along the lines of your editorial vision for Parazit. Well, before I start talking about this, uh, I want to answer what uh, Nima said about the, uh, uh, that why West America chose to um, create this show and all that. I want to say, West America didn't choose to do this. We did. Right. <laughs> they didn't create you know? the show. <laughs> they didn't create the right. show. I didn't say we, they, they, they no, no, created no. it. I said no, I'm they saying, have taken you on and they now pay you no, 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 to no, be is, on their, you, 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 on their yeah. channel. So let me tell you a little it's bit of history about the show. Um, we were tired of our daily job in West America. I was a host of cultural show mm. with acting background. And someone was a VJ who's covering war in Middle East. And uh, we came up with the idea of doing uh, a 10-minute segment over uh, in a bar. You know, we came up with the idea of doing a segment in this cultural show. And uh, uh, the segment was uh, not political. No, no, no. It we actually went no, totally it cultural. It was, it was totally cultural. And, and, and t in 2009, uh, after uh, election in Iran, when the whole thing erupted, uh, people took us. And they carried us, carried us with them yeah. along the way until today. A at some point, Voice of America find, found out that, oh, look, there is a show that they have half a million, half a million viewers watching them. Mm -hmm. you know? They didn't have anything uh, uh, over this. Yeah, I, there was I, no like, smart planning behind this. There was no this, smart planning. Nobody, nobody But that's not what this, I said. You know? So it was convenient. No, saying. here's yeah. the thing. That's not, I, what, I, that's I, not at all what I said. Okay, what, anyway, what I, said I got you. I got you. Here, here's what happened, man. We're, to be honest with you, bro, you, 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 I, I hear what you're saying, and it's a good question. But the thing is, like Kami just mentioned, we... Uh, we were just doing our ordinary jobs. It wasn't like we yeah. were uh, scouting. I understand that. I'm saying that your your own independence as artists, as uh, performers, as entertainers, also as uh, commentators yeah. and 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 we uh, analysts, something that was very Winds powerful being... because uh, we collected a big, large uh, amount of audience. Okay. And if we I ever went prime, Nima, we Nima, Nima, and your success is wonderful. Interrupt, <laughs> if I could just interrupt, uh, we just want to get some of our community's voice because they're sure. chiming in on this very sure. topic. We have ICT Siege 316, who's an American, saying, as an American, I value free speech, but Parazit is paid. I wouldn't like Stuart or Colbert, uh, who you're compared to, I believe, if they were bought either. So I think, you know, you know, the question is then, you know, 
you know, you are broadcast into Iran, correct? Mm -hmm. And you only comment on Iranian affairs. That's all we do. You know, th this is this is this is why we That's started right. this and show. And is that not part of the political strategy of perhaps the U.S. in terms of the the, dis the dissemination of information? Look, I mean, that's what propaganda sure. is. We're not policy experts, so we don't know what the uh, strategy is behind the right. State Department or the Congress. We're not. We're not. We're two average dudes. You know. Right. I grew up here. He grew up there. We met together. We did this stuff together. Yeah. What we care is. And this is our bubble. I don't mm -hmm. care what anyone thinks about VOA or what's going on or right. what's happened in the past. They may be right. We, whatever they say about VOA. Uh, you know, no, they may be right. But here's, here's something, Nima, you should know. <laughs> and that is, have you ever watched our show, man? I have. You have. Does that give you the sense of that this is propaganda? Or this, are we defending any, any, any U.S. policy? Are we comparing well, U.S.? You well, very, uh, very rarely do you even address U.S. policy. Well, we, and I okay. think that, that, that in let me, let me in is, very, is very problematic. Let me come in again and, and highlight that Hillary Clinton in that interview, and you'll agree with me, she quite clearly outlined U.S. policy towards Iran, the fact that they want regime change from within. They support the, the young people, the green movement, you know, their sanctions on, on, on Iran. We I mean, criticized the green movement. We did. Way. But, Maybe. you know, I mean, ironically, you're funded by the same government that's imposing sanctions on, on Iran. Sure, we actually as, asked questions well. about the sanctions. Sanctions last you know year what? had signed off that included, however, at, included sanctions on things like, like and then pistachios. giving Hillary Clinton like, the opportunity to yeah, say no, uh, whatever she wants without challenging it now, is problematic. Exactly. Now, this is, this is my point as well. I mean, those sanctions last year that were signed off included pistachio exports and, and, and right. Persian rugs as well. So, you know, that hurts Iranians. Hillary Clinton, uh, Clinton you would ag agree with me, Cambys, wasn't challenged in that interview? I would say I asked her tough, I did ask her tough questions. I wouldn't agree with you that I didn't challenge her, but um, uh, I didn't have that much time to, okay. uh, to challenge her. You started the, the interview, you, the, the interview started with you, uh, one, not disclosing the fact that she's your, your boss. She's not our boss. She's not our boss. <laughs> that's that's, that's where you're wrong. You're making it sound like <laughs> this is Starbucks. Okay. 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 She's she's not our boss. Okay. Can I, I, there's, there's a board of can directors. I no. Voice of America. no, no, okay. look. I write Nima, this show. Nima, Nima, Nima can, I, can I rewind <laughs> now and go to Hillary Clinton when she was a candidate it's for the Democratic nomination? Let me go back to Hillary Clinton when she was a candidate for the Democratic nomination. She said some controversial things regarding Iran. Let's, let's listen to this. Because whatever stage of development they might be in their nuclear weapons program in the next 10 years, during which they might foolishly consider launching an attack on Israel, we would be able to totally obliterate them. That's a terrible thing to say, but those people who run Iran need to understand that, because that perhaps will deter them from doing something that would be reckless Foolish and tragic. This was in 2008, I think, I believe. Yeah. Here, here, is, here is something. Yeah. <laughs> here is something I have to, uh, you know, okay. point out <clears throat> that we're not responsible for the U.S. government here. You know, that's yeah. we're not responsible here for their foreign policy. Okay. The government. So yeah, you know, they, some some other people pay for this people here. Some of these. But pay, they're also broadcast no, gotta, in foreign countries and not I know. here. Nima, in the that's, 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 a, Look, that's a show that may, maybe you should launch on your own. Exactly. Our job <laughs> is to reflect human rights issues here, and if you want to protect a dictatorship okay. because of that, then is, that's your is beef. That, is that what it sounds like? I'm like I'm Look, doing. Nima, no, you, you're, yeah, no, no, you're no. saying our issues about like human rights and side That's what we highlight. And we highlight the hypocrisy. Time out. You're I, saying that's a bad thing because you're being funded by yeah, the No, government. no, wait. You just said what that you this? highlight the hypocrisy. But don't you think it's hypocritical to highlight that from, from within a government system? It's a system comedy show, bro. By a government. I, can I, wait, I have an explanation? Wait, I, then which one are, are you let doing? Me, let me, let me, is, it, is it highlighting human rights abuses? Oh, clearly you're a not a fan show? of the, it's, We don't make you laugh. Uh, but, yeah, but Saman, he's, Saman, he's making a good point because, for example, Colbert and Stewart sling mud at the U.S. government policy is hypocrisy. Sure. But they're not funded by a foreign government, okay. which is in an, in is an antagonistic relationship with so the United States. Oh, no, no, no. But yeah. he made I a point that it's a, only broadcast yes, in Iran, and you don't criticize anyone else except the Iran. Because the show is about Iran. This First, show is only let me, about Iran. can I make a statement here? Uh, Mr. Nima Shirazi, what you're doing right now, I wasn't able to do in Iran. Right. You're sitting in Brooklyn. You went to a private school, bro? Hold on. You're sitting in Brooklyn, okay, via Skype, coming to Washington, criticizing this government, and nobody's going to come and take you to the jail. 
I wasn't able to do that in Iran, and I'm not able to do that anywhere else in this world, okay? There is this government, or any government, I don't care. This it happened to be American government that gave me the platform, me who grew up in Iran and never had the opportunity to be able to express myself freely. You, you know, you this guys, is, this you is the platform I have, and okay. you and you have it, and you don't appreciate it, and you're criticizing me because I am trying to give something back to my com community. Yep. You know, when I do the show every every week, when I do the show, I look at camera closely and I see myself sitting in my small room in the city of Rash, north of Tehran, when I was 16 years old and I didn't have any alternative information. I had no source of information whatsoever. The, the only thing I had was the state media run uh, 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 t t television that they would give me one-sided uh, story all the time and I had to believe it. This is, this is the platform that it's giving people the choice. With, with yeah, okay. uh, that's Ahmed, what we do. Uh, Ahmed, let, I, let's, I, let, I let us, I, I Nima, think before you answer, wind up being Nima, not, Nima, Nima, not Nima, Nima. I, I don't think answer, it's, it's Nima, so much please, an please. issue of, Nima. of competing narratives Nima. as Nima. it is Nima. competing Nima. narratives. Okay, and that, and that, and that it, it, Nima, it, 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 could, you, could you hold that for a second? Of course. Because we want to give a platform to the community. Yes. <laughs> We've this got a, great, a lot of questions. This is a great <laughs> conversation, and you touched on human rights, and you said that the reason you do the show is yeah. to expose human rights violations. So we have a question from Shuja Rabani that came in about human rights uh, in Iran. Let's listen in. Stream. My question to your guests on the show today is about Shireen Ibadi, uh, the Iranian human rights activist who recently mentioned in one of her interviews that she believes there's more freedom of speech under President Ahmadinejad in Iran today than there was during the times of the Shah of Iran. Do you agree with her or not and why? What would you make of that? First of all, uh, I was born in 73, so I, I, I don't know much about what was going on in 73. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I know Shah was a, another great dictator, supported by the West, oh, clearly. We all know that. That's a fact. Uh, however, uh, I think the difference between today's Iran and Shah's era is that politically, Shah was also a dictator, but socially, he was at least more liberal and laid back and allowed people to do what they want to do. And even politically, when people crossed the lines that he didn't appreciate or he didn't like during his dictatorship, he didn't deal with people in such savage way as the Islamic Republic is today. We're not monarchists, so we're That's not even defending. That's literally incorrect. But, but okay. there are incidents of, of torture, for example. That, of course. But now no they're, much, but they're much less now than they were back then. They're much... Look at look at how many journalists we have in in, in jail. Why are we? Why are we? We're not human human we're not comparing Pepsi and rights. Coke. We're it talking is. about the current issues but, inside but, Iran today. Okay, let's throw right it. now. In, when I left Iran, they were uh, throwing acid in 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 women's face mm -hmm. because they weren't protecting. Uh, they weren't wearing the hijab properly. You right. guys are we're sitting here, man. Uh, outside of Iran, <laughs> you have no idea what's going. People are struggling inside Iran. If they if that's they're struggling. If you like it or not, I don't know. Be fair. Be balanced. Okay, let's, uh, let me then People pose this struggling. to you. Do you think that maybe perhaps what you're doing might hinder um, some of the prospects of some of those people who want change? Given, given the historical uh, antagonism between Iran and the United States, we can go very far back to the 53 um, coup d'etat mm -hmm. um, that ousted, um, uh, that brought in uh, the Shah and ousted Mossadegh. We can, you know, we can look at this mm -hmm. history bit sure, by bit on a timeline. Very but the, po yeah. the point is that created a sense of paranoia, a sense yeah, of antagonism. Of That's why now, given have. that you are funded by, <laughs> whether you like it or not, Iran's historical enemy, does that not, does that not hurt the prospects of those who are watching you on the ground? Well, you know? we gained our credibility based our, on own content. This is you a know? new generation. I don't, yeah, this I don't is, know what's happened totally in the different. Cold War. I'm not responsible for the coup. I'm, I create a sh created a show with someone that has a fresh approach mm. to, to, to Iranian people. And, and, and we, we're, we're giving people information, we're informing people through, through humor and we're criticizing uh, a, a We've government. We've a bridge. A okay. government. So Nima can talk to our audience. I, okay. I think that's very valuable. Nima, come I, I think, I think yeah. what, what you guys are doing is extremely valuable. I think where the problem arises is being funded by the United States government, which has 30 years of threatening and demonizing Iran. 
well, and dude, favoring Nima, regime Nima, change. Nima, That's Nima. the issue. That's Nima, the issue. Nima. You we lose have, credibility Nima. and you lose your your, fans, your, no, your no, even, no. even if it's even if Nima. it's a perception of independence. I think you're naive to not care that you happen to get checks from the U.S. Yeah, government. You're I think to your you're naive. If I can just our interrupt, fans have a different person. opinion than you. Speaking of your fans, we actually have someone chiming in, uh, Nazila Mir Sultanani, or forgive me, Mir, Mir Sultani, saying, "Watch the show, then you realize Parazit reflects a voice of Iranians who mm. cannot be heard." Then we also have a question for you, Nima. Iran News Now says, I'm curious why you who live in New York are bashing the one show that feeds Iranians with views that's different, as our guest said, from the Iranian government propaganda. So what would you say to that question? Uh, well, one, I, I mean, I, I really don't think that I'm bashing the show. I think that I'm questioning the, the credibility of having that show funded by the United States government. And I think that those are two very different things. If this was a web broadcast, which it used to be before it was then taken under by the U.S. government, that, 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 that winds up being very different. If I came on here to speak as a journalist or a commentator for Farce News, I, there would be a different impression of what I'm saying, right. except, and, 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 and so I, that, that, that is, is, is my okay. As a matter of fact, Fox <coughs> New, uh, Farce News <coughs> interviewed you. Should I uh, label you with anything I want? You, you give me money, Nima, and I come and do this show for <laughs> you, man. Yeah, well, you know, here is this government so, okay. that gave you, me the money pragmatic. to do this. You're pragmatic. Fine. I mean, you, you've, ma you've <laughs> made the point. You've been critical of the okay. U.S. government. You're now, a very so good businessman. On, on that <laughs> point of being no, critical of the U.S. government, now I find it's very difficult to separate mm -hmm. covering what's happening in Iran only without covering the U.S. element. I can look at recent history. I can look at the fact that um, there was that alleged plot against the Saudi ambassador. Okay. There were so many variables within okay. it. The Zetas cartel link, the fact that the guy was a used car salesman who liked sure. to, to smoke, do to smoke dope and you know, visit prostitutes. I find there's, there's fodder for comedy material. There's also <laughs> fodder for, for Plain. comedy material. Yeah. I think uh, Rick Santorum in the GOP debate said that scientists have been turning up dead in Iran and I wish, I hope that right. it was the United States that was involved there. I find there'd be plenty of material there for comedy there within the U.S. Do you use it? We use. The, we use are you we, allowed to use? We, it? Of course we, we are. are. No, one, no one says. Look, let me no, let me clear this in front of this camera right here. <coughs> I write the show with a group of people that they're all. I'm the guy who uh, you know does the final editing in the script. And he's the guy who, who does the final touching of do the production. Do you use that material within the U.S.? Well, we do. I do, I'm not afraid of but anybody. Here's, here's what you, you want know? us to say, and we can't say. For example, okay, there's no diplomatic relations between Iran or United States. We don't have any embassies. Mm. So there's not much of a dialogue going on anyway. What mm. we can only make fun of are the facts that we hear in the news. Right. We don't know what's going on uh, inside IAEA. We don't know what's going on inside the State Department. We don't know what's going on inside the uh, Saudi plot. Yeah. We can only present the facts and make fun of it. Yeah. But if you want us to say, yes, we know exactly who did it, and here are the facts, no, that's I, not going to happen. Not, I'm not but that. yes, we do make fun of it. You you well, did you cover the Saudi ambassador We plot? did, yes. Of course. It's a great comedy. It's, it's a great the, comedy. The guy, right. the guy, you know, think about it. The whole yeah, it's a movie. It. It's Great it's, it's a great comedy, but you 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 know you, you have a serious show right now, and you you put us in corner and 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 saying oh U.S. funded U.S. funded U.S. funded. But you are U.S. Well, funded. I know. I'm saying <laughs> people, Mr. Nima, everybody <coughs> who thinks of your propaganda, <laughs> who thinks of your propaganda, look at our content. No, that's okay. You and give me one example. We have our audience, and right. and and we believe we're being objective. Our fans tend to support us, and different sides of the opposition group actually supports us, and they watch the show. And everyone's you think to no, offense, almost no offense to your creative license, but if if you weren't propaganda, why would the U.S. government fund you? U.S. Because government because of your talent. Uh, look, U.S. government. Uh, we were employee of government, you know, and we came up with the show that uh, the show happened to be popular. And it took off. It took okay. off. We right. took off. Right. We if you want to off. cancel it, you more than no. one. Okay, come on. Hold that yeah. thought. Hold that thought. You can hear the bubble yeah. because we're running out of time on the main show. Nima, stay with us as well. We'll continue this discussion for about 10 minutes or so in the post show. Thanks, gentlemen. Thanks for joining us for all our TV <laughs> viewers. It's been fascinating, heated and necessary. Stream.aljazeera.com is where you can watch the post show. Tune in for that. We'll continue the discussion and these gentlemen can flesh out the ideas. Stay with us.
this is where Whatever you like. <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, welcome to the post show, stream.aljazeera.com. Delighted that we actually have a post show because this is the type of topic that definitely needs one. Um, do you want to finish your point? Uh, what was my point? <laughs> what, what were we talking there about? There was a lot of yelling. <laughs> yeah, because, you know. <laughs> no, these are all valid questions. And yeah, I, I, yeah, to be I honest understand. with you, when I came, when I, when I was asked to uh, work for VOA, I asked myself the same question. This yeah, is in the Bush too. era. Uh, you know, there were a lot of things going on in the Middle East, and yeah. I'm like, can I, can I really do what I want to do? Mm -hmm. And I can honestly tell you, I am doing what I want to do. Have you ever had a phone call? Don't About. do that. Don't cover that. No, ever. Never. No, Never. Get, of course, we get emails and, and, and phone calls weird, like from random people, because they think like there's a certain no, thing that no, no, they you, you, you mean there from somebody in the U.S. No, no, government from, from the U.S. No, no, yeah, never, no. never happened. But never happened. You brought up the Bush era, and you—that's when you asked yourself these questions about whether you should do the show. You know, it being funded by the U.S. government. We put out this question as well to our audience. Well, the we show said, didn't exist back then, by the way. Exactly, but I when you were asked to work for, uh, as an as a producer of, at Voice of America. Ah, okay. Just to clarify. So what's the difference? You still work for Voice No, no, no. Parasit is a different, like... How is it different? Part they, they of Voice of America. I, I just want to make sure people... They were already south of Voice of America. was created <laughs> in the middle of, like, you know, whatever. Later on. Yeah. Well, the question is, you know, has Obama continued the Bush-era policies, which, you know, many people were saying were very aggressive against Iran. So we have some answers. Iran News now, the same guy saying, Obama's initial outreach to Iran opened space for internal dissent domestically, and it removed the regime's excuse of an external threat. But then we also have uh, Roy Asab saying, not only has Obama continued, he's done further when he had promised dialogue. What would you say Obama's done? Has he extended the Bush era policies on Iran, or do you think he's improved? I, I would say that, again, I'm not a right. political expert. Yeah. I would say uh, no one on either side of these countries have done enough to do anything for their own people. Mm -hmm. uh, to actually build a bridge of diplomacy between the civilization, I'm, I don't care about the politics here, but after 32 years of hardship inside Iran, um, to be honest with you, I don't even look at the politicians anymore. As, as a uh, whole do you think people. your program is doing something? I think our there? program's doing it simply because 80% or 90% of the vehicle we use and we choose to drive this show is our audience. It's the people we've tapped into. And they're very young, they're very hopeful, they're very uh, democratic, and they just want a platform to be echo to, mm. for their voices to be echoed. And I, Look, I'm, I'm hoping we can do that and we're doing it. Almost one million people don't go after propaganda. Fair almost point, one people, point. especially one Iranians, people, that are especially super Iranians, paranoid. They don't do that. About the media. Iranians are very, you know, <clears throat> they really have this pride. They don't, they don't do that. And also to your question about the Bush era mm -hmm. and Obama era, uh, my personal opinion is that Obama pulled the, uh, the war option from the table. And, and I think that um, what happened after that was uh, the Green Movement and whatever happened in the Green Movement was because uh, there was no pressure on Iran. The, th the war and, threat was right, off yeah, the, the table. War threat but the war threat off. is not off the table now. If you I, look at the rhetoric in the yeah, Obama administration. Well, it came yeah, back. But at the beginning, at the beginning uh, right. the war, it was more of an uh, I extend my hand and you yeah. should shake my hand. Uh, no so ruse, yeah, no ruse of, message. Yeah, <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. Except, except, except two weeks before that message, he re-upped the 95 sanctions uh, that started under Clinton yeah. and then wound up saying, well, I'm not going to, you know, uh, advance uh, what I say in terms of, of threats. And yet still, the all options have always been on the table. Sure. But and how, sanctions how is that our fault keep getting re-upped. How, how is, how is that, that our fault? We're talking about our fault. That wasn't the question. The question is about whether Obama okay. has actually changed... Uh, U.S. policy over Iran. That's yeah. it's not about you, you guys, in terms of this question. <laughs> okay, then we're, we're, we're okay. We're, no, I, I sure suppose something you, something you, you. vestigially related to this, Kambiz. Would you feel offended that some people find you a uh, mouthpiece for the Green Movement in Iran? Because you mm. were saying you criticize yeah, yeah. them, but people from the outside looking in, they see it in mm. a very monolithic way. Mm. They see it. Look, oh, opposition Iran, Green Movement, mm. Musavi. These mm. guys must be cultural wing of that particular Yeah, I, I get that. That could be a fair question. But again, I refer you to our content. Mm. And um, we get our content. You know, social media ha had a huge role in this show. We, we got all our content so far from social media. Mm -hmm. we, uh, and we reproduced it mm. for the people inside Iran. Our ears are on the ground on, th on, 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 on the 
on Iran and what whatever the majority want we go after that right and the green movement was 2009 phenomena people were everybody was green right. at the time and we were reflecting what was happening on the streets of the people were dying mm. because of that N uh, today if there is a red movement with the majority of people following mm -hmm. and demanding democratic mm -hmm. uh, uh, demands, we would definitely cover that. So, but again, but again, I'm not going to be the, 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 the I'm not going to be the, 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 the what, what the term did you use? The mouse? Mouse, mouse piece, mouse, yeah. No, I'm, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm trying to be the voice. But again, whatever you're trying to do, whether you're saying you're just pragmatic or not, uh, in terms of who you take money from, whatever you're trying to do is in line with U.S policy with regards it is what we to do Iran. is in line Here's with common thing. sense the, the common sense Here's we the don't thing. really yeah. no one from the capitol hill tells us what to do no <laughs> there isn't a script that says what the u.s policy is today and what's you going to be tomorrow we don't care yeah. we, we there doesn't have to be they already agree with you that's why you're on their their no their, no that's why not, they decided to pay not, you that's, and broadcast is it bad to true. agree with uh criticizing human rights record inside iran <laughs> yeah, well, is that a bad thing okay okay is that what you actually think the u.s government's uh i don't care what the u.s government thinks i'm not my audience is not the American audience. He, he's saying he's happy to be a tool of the American government as long as they're... No, I'm kidding. We're, I'm we're, 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 are, we're connecting with the Iranians. I don't care what the U.S. government thinks. Right. They don't even care what I think. They're yeah. not telling me what so, I should So do. on that note, I just want to go back a bit because on the note of the Green Revolution, you talked about the importance of social media in your show and how you guys tap into that. But also, obviously, social media was very important in the Green Movement. So we have... A tweet here from Nuran Motlekar saying, did the show Parasite in any way influence Iran's Green Revolution in 2009? What would you say? No, because the no, show no. didn't even exist. Uh, we, we heard it existed it was before. The, it influenced us. It was our 15th week. Oh, really? They it influenced our... us. Yeah, we went after people. Look, <coughs> we, we are TV guys. You guys, you guys are TV. You create content here, yeah. right? We uh, used to create content for people. At some point on, people mm -hmm. created the content. Their own content. Yeah. And we they were gave making, it to us. We were making Mickey Mouse programming and, and experimenting with what we're doing until we the 15th week. The 15th week was the, uh, the, right. the was the beginning of the uprising. So no one even knew about party. Right, right. And, and we when the mirror. uprising started, we, there was nothing else to com cover. Mm -hmm. right. Right. I, have to, I, have to, I have to make some this point here. Nima needs to know that. That in order, we do uh, satire, Nima. You know, Sat in order for you to do satire, you got to take side. Hmm. You can't, uh, you, you cannot have, you know, just be balanced. You, there is no balanced satire. We took side with human rights. We took side with common sense. We took side with people inside Iran and their voice and their demands. They wanted their vote back. Now mm -hmm. back. Now they want the dictator well, to be gone. And that's why no government, including the American government, well, can exactly. tell us what if, they want if, if human rights, and human rights is not an American right, and it's not an Iranian right, it's not the American government, it's not Iran. It's a universal right. Okay, let's, so, Nima, let me pose a question to you. Is it not a source of embarrassment then for the Iranian government that when they put up a firewall, if you like, and, and cut people's cut off people's access to expressing themselves, to protesting freely and clamping down on their, on their human rights and their, and their rights of communicating their message and their grievances. Uh, inadvertently, what, te what will happen is, somewhere down the line, your biggest enemy will end up funding your very own people who need their voices to be heard. Is that not something that the Iranian government should be ashamed without of? Without a doubt. With, with, without a doubt. The Iranian government's uh, censorship of, of, of media and also of, of a lot of dissent is, is, is appalling and totally despicable and, and uh, you know, and I indefensible. But I don't think that's, that's what the issue is here. To say that you guys are, are standing on the side of human rights is, is really fantastic. And that's why I think the show is valuable. However, again, you are being broadcast by a government that consistently abrogates those very human rights that you think that you're trying to uphold by, you know, having, having uh, to uh, torture prisons and um, drone attacks on civilians and assassinations of uh, U.S. citizens and invading and occupying countries all around Iran and threatening Iran with military yeah, attacks. Yeah, you forgot, that is you forgot, the issue. You forgot, you forgot something, Nima. The parties that, are at, different at the same here, time, that's a different, that's, that's yeah. a different topic, that's and a at, different show. And at the same time... So it's good that you no, guys no, 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 can you gotta compartmentalize. Add something. That, you got, that's, yeah. that's very admirable. At the same time, you got to add that. <laughs> 
that you're allowed to say all this, and you, you're not going to get you're going to you're not going to be in jail anytime soon. I, th I, I, I hope. Speaking speaking of being in jail, we have a question from our Unless community I go down about to, uh, uh, Nima. Occupy Wall Street, and I might be. Okay. Uh, speaking about being <laughs> in jail, uh, you know, we have a question about safety and you know your safety and security <laughs> concerns. Let's listen in. I'm curious as to if the creators of the show or their extended friends and family in Iran have experienced any threats or repercussions. Anyone want to take that? We get death threats all the time. You guys, I hear you. I mean, you're physically safe in D.C., but beyond that, psychologically, friends, yeah. family in Iran. We're yeah. so busy with work that we don't think about these things a whole lot, but it's a very important question. And yeah, of course, you think about your safety all the time. I mean, let's be honest, uh, it's, a, it's a brutal government and it's got a horrible history in, in doing international terrorism. It's a genocide of hope, what is happening inside Iran, I would, I would tell you. And, and uh, it, it's like, you know, what would you do when you were in the middle of Holocaust? You wanted to report that. Is it what would you? I mean, are you, I, are you genuinely comparing it to I the do Holocaust? genuinely <coughs> comparing what is happening to Iranian youth right now. It's a genocide of hope. You know, the, when uh, the ultimate goal, ultimate dream for someone in Iran is to getting out of that country right. and, and the, the depression is rising all the time. I was one of those guys, you know, and I see my friends every day in Iran, my family and everybody else. That's genocide of hope. That's genocide of dream. But I mean, Nima was kind of making it uh, morally relative. Bradley Manning. Yeah, Nima is keep saying, uh, uh, Nima wants us to say we wear the American yeah. flag and I, we believe yeah. we don't. No, I think he wants I to wish just you guys highlight all yeah. the best. I really yeah, do. I think he's trying yeah. to highlight the difference between human and we have rights a huge, motivating you. If you look at the list of, our, the, show, Nima, list of our the guests show. on the show, I mean, Hillary Clinton's like one of three years of yeah. programming we've had. We've had everyone on the show. Well, so why are we just picking on Hillary? Anytime, any, my final question to you guys, any Iranian officials on the show? We would we love keep on to. Biting. Yeah. We would love to have uh, <laughs> Supreme Leader Ayatollah Khamenei. We would love to have Mr. Ahmadinejad or or anybody. You know, yeah. we, we tried to get Masha. He was uh, right. uh, one of the guys. Turns one day. Yeah. What? One day. Yeah. <laughs> Hopeful. Gentlemen, it's been a pleasure. Thank you very much. It's it's been a little heated, but I think necessary. No, yeah. uh, it's it's winners. You got, so it's you all got good. your you got your point. Thanks, Nima. Thank you. Passionately, Nima. Uh, thanks a lot, Kambis. Thank you very much, Saman. Thank you as well. Great to have you on the Orange Couch, Ahmed. Thanks for all that uh, lively feedback. Yes. Orange socks. Lively. That goes matches the <laughs> couch. Wonderful stuff. Yeah, way to Show go. Yeah. And some hairy legs, right? <laughs> Thank you, guys. Okay, guys. <clears throat> See you Monday. Hope you join us then. Bye bye.